Good afternoon, over coffee cup time. I know you all have busy schedules, and, but, uh, and maybe you didn't make it to church or uh, it's been a while, but we just try to take this time to come to you and share a little bit something to you that might help you and bless you. This is Pastor Dwayne, and uh, if you don't go to church, we've got a, a church out in Gaston. Every 11 o'clock every Sunday morning we meet, and we'd be delighted to have you. But today I want to use or check, uh, talk to you about the word grace. By grace are you saved, the Bible says, through faith, not of yourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast, but it's by the grace of God. You know, if we really... Um, perhaps got what we deserve from some of our action and the life that we've lived or the mistakes that we've made or uh, the foolish ideas that we come up with. If we were, if that governed our life, <laughs> we would really be in trouble. There is no question about it. But thank God for his grace. In the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, it begins about, I don't know, verse 21, long in there, 521, and uh, talks about Jesus, and he's got a crowd following him. But there's a lady that heard about him. The Bible says she had an issue of blood, and now I don't know exactly what, that would be in our term or not. But anyway, she had it for many, many years. And uh, in fact, the Bible says 12 years she'd suffered. And it was the kind of disease that kind of like, it wasn't leprosy, but it was on that same kind of a, a response in the fact that you couldn't mix and mingle with a crowd. So I don't know if it was contagious or anyway, whatever it was, uh, there's been a lot of speculation. Uh, for some reason, she was in that crowd. The reason was God had a plan for her. And so she heard about this man, Jesus, and so she made her way in the crowd, and she said in the fifth chapter of Mark's gospel, she said, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Now, let's see grace in action here. Grace in action said she could be in the crowd. Grace in action said it didn't matter who said no, she could still move forward. And faith began to build in her somewhere along the line between grace and faith. She said, if I can just get close enough to touch the hem of his garment. Just, I don't have to touch him. He don't have to say anything. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, my disease is going to go. I'll be okay. And so she did. And instantly, Jesus said, who touched me? Who had confidence to receive my grace by a simple touch of their own doing. I said to somebody this past Sunday, if I do what God said for me to do, then he will do what he said he would do. And so she says, if I can touch his garment, she did, and he said, virtue left. And the disciples said, Jesus, how in the world can you know? There's people all around you. They're pushing, they're shoving, they're trying to get up close to you. And you make a statement like that? He said, oh, no. The person that touched me was different. And their faith was so strong 
that my grace brought healing to them. Something happened. And he kept looking around to see who had done it. In verse 33, the frightened woman, trembling at the realization of what had happened to her, came and fell at her fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done. <laughs> oh, thank God. And his response, you know, every time that he was confronted anywhere, what response? Sometimes he was very direct, but the compassion, no matter where he was direct or not. And he said in verse 34, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. Boy, what grace. What grace that was. What wonderful grace there was that was the virtue, that was the healing virtue. God expressed his grace to a woman who had been suffering for 12 years by healing her. You know, I don't know what you might be suffering from out there. Maybe it's, maybe it's a physical healing. I don't know. Maybe it's an emotional thing. You know, maybe you've tried about everything you can think of. You read every book that there is. I got news for you. God's grace is sufficient for you. You can't do it by yourself. You can't heal yourself where you would. You've even spent all kinds of money on doctors. You know? And thank God for medicine. Thank God for doctors and hospitals. We've all had positive and negative experiences. But let me tell you, I've had nothing ever but positive results because of the grace of God when he spoke to me, when he strengthened me in the middle of the night when I will be awakened. I got news for you. If you're sitting in your living room or at your kitchen table watching this, there's grace sufficient for you and your problem. Quit trying to figure it out. Just say, I'll touch him. I'll believe it. I'll take him at his word and receive his grace and you'll never be the same again.